what is up everybody and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited it's tuesday you know what that means on my channel target tuesday i'm just so excited guys it's almost christmas before i get into what today's video is going to be about if you are new here i make target videos home goods anything to do with home decor cleaning motivation sometimes do grocery shop with me all sorts of shop with me so if you love videos like that definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also make sure you hit the subscribe button down below okay today's target tuesday video is going to be about last minute christmas gifts so i'm going to go all through the store and show you last minute gift ideas for everyone the whole fam teens kids husband wife mom dad sister brother that sort of thing anything fun that I can find to show you guys as a really fun last-minute Christmas gift idea I'm gonna share with you guys for once in my life I'm actually like done with Christmas shopping like kind of early I mean I know it's a couple days before Christmas and that's not really early but hey I'm done so that's fun things are already wrapped I feel like really put together this year I don't know why I think it's just because I have like more time than normal normally I like work all the holidays and everything but this year I'm off so it's just a whole different experience for me I'm hoping this video can give you guys some ideas and be helpful I know that if you haven't got someone a gift and you have people left on your list it can be really stressful like trying to figure out what to get them at the last second things start to sell out you can't get your hands on things I do want to say if you are last minute gift shopping the number one tip I can give you is utilize price matching before you buy anything at any of these big box stores make sure that you check that it is not cheaper on another website utilize price matching that is the biggest tip that I can give you different stores have different sales and you can definitely save money by using price matching I just can't recommend it enough so definitely do that all right let's not waste any more time let's go inside and go over some last minute Christmas gift ideas if you find this video helpful definitely make sure you share it with someone else who might need some help maybe your husband if he struggles in this area you could always send this video to him but let's go inside and go over these gift ideas I feel like I should mention I'm at a Target I haven't been to in years I used to live over here here in this area and I just haven't come back to this target I have a really funny story about this target maybe I'll tell you later but they thought I was like stealing and they tried to ban me from this target yeah it was wild wild times but I'll tell you that story maybe later in the video okay starting off in the target dollar spot they have a bunch of these yoga mat sprays I saw this one I got this one for Brian this is the eucalyptus one but they also have a lavender one and a peppermint one these are cute I haven't seen these before in any of my target dollar spot hunting these little stamp and ink pads I see like a snowflake little like holly leaves different colors I also see a candy cane these are really cute and they're only a dollar those are so perfect I am starting to see some like more spring stuff sprinkled in wedding stuff always comes in the spring this is only a dollar and it's like a hanging sign for the back of a chair for a wedding hmm, interesting some spring stuff starting to sprinkle in little candles like these for three dollars each are perfect little stocking stuffers so if you're looking for last minute stocking stuffers the dollar spot is definitely a great place to come this is also cool I haven't seen this yet it is a heat mat for like style tools it's three dollars you just kind of like roll it out it like protects other surfaces from the heat so you don't burn like a desk or start a fire or anything this won't melt and just for your hot tools that's really cool another good stocking stuffer idea face masks you can honestly never have too many in 2020 perfect to get for a guy who like goes to the gym I know Brian complains about his face masks at the gym also an important thing to just get them when you see them because things could start to get really crazy again you might not be able to find them so for ten dollars you can get a 20 pack at Target so actually right by the entrance they have a lot of big ticket kids gifts everything's labeled they have a bunch of each they're like a lot of like ride-on cars they have ones more for like boys I guess like motorcycle ones they have like more girly ones different types of trucks they have like the Jeep one I know this is a really really cool one they also have a Mustang dang these have gotten fancy since I was a kid but yeah they have a bunch right up at the front of the store super easy to just grab and go okay so perfect idea for a like young woman or a woman I I personally love these but I know they're not everyone's style so if this looks like something your mom or your grandmother or your wife if you're a guy watching this might wear these are really cute they are one size fits most so they're pretty big but they're meant to be oversized they have a couple different colors they have this pink one they have a gray one and then in my cart I actually put a green one I just love stuff like this super comfy super cozy really easy to throw on and looks like casual but still like you put effort in so I really like that I might go ahead and gift myself the green one but they have a couple different styles they have this one as well that has like this little belt that goes with it but it is slit all the way up the side the only reason I don't really like this one is because I like to wear those types of sweaters as like my whole top for the day so this you have to wear something underneath and I've never been one to really like to wear a lot of layers I feel like they're really just suffocating you could always get them like a black tight shirt to go under it or something but it's really cute I like the belt it's very like stylish and a little bit different so I like that okay so these are really fun they are five dollars off so 
so they're 15 instead of 20. They're these Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar little jewelry box things. They come with two pairs of earrings. They have a couple different styles. I actually have a bunch. They have like butterfly ones. They have ones like that are more pink. They have ones that are more glam. They have like animal print, more colorful ones. They have a ton of different options and they're really, really cute. Then they have more like dainty ones that are a New Day brand that are also on sale. Definitely a cute stocking stuffer, perfect. I love earrings. I've gotten very into earrings this year, so any of these would be really cute. I would love these. They do still have a couple of the like Christmas earrings. I have a pair of like the snowflake ones. They don't have them here anymore, but they have like the ski ones, snowmen, little like hat and mittens. They also have a man Nora one that's so cute so these are just fun also you could start thinking about little like earrings for Valentine's Day or something these are perfect for a Christmas outfit just little things like this little stocking stuffers quick and easy last-minute gift ideas here's another stocking stuffer idea I'm just saying poopery if you've never heard of it you spray the water and then you poop and I guess it like doesn't smell <laughs> if it's too much <laughs> I've never used it, but it works, guaranteed. I've heard only good things, and they have it in really pretty packaging. Like, come on, imagine getting this in your stocking. The box is like velvet. I don't know. I mean, I've never used it, but just an idea. I have never seen these before. They have these like Opal House oil warmers, so really similar to a wallflower. They have like all the different scents down there, and then all the different covers. This one is so cute. I've never seen these before. They do have more festive ones, like wreaths, trees, that sort of thing. Oh my gosh, these are so so cute I didn't even know they had these so the little pods are five dollars and then the covers are eight dollars to ten dollars I will say though the Bath and Body Works ones are a lot cheaper because they're like always on sale so you can get like I don't know like eight for 25 or whatever the deals are they have on them um, those are five dollars for just like the oil part so I know you can definitely get better deals and I was kind of like peeking at it to see if maybe the Bath and Body Works little oil part would fit into these cute covers and it doesn't look like they will because you screw in the Bath and Body Works ones and these ones it doesn't look like you screw them in but yeah, those are really cute, but the other ones from Bath & Body Works, like the wallflowers, are definitely a better deal. Okay, let's talk about another gift idea while I'm right here. A candle and a blanket. Let me show you the options. You guys know how much I have raved about these Threshold $10 candles. They're just amazing. They smell great. They're bigger than Bath & Body Works for less price, and I just really love them. These ones are also great, too. These are the Opal House ones. They have a lot of really, really fun scents. Also $10. All right, hear me out. Everyone has been stuck inside and I'm fairly certain everyone is going to continue to be stuck inside for at least the next few months. So why not get someone a new blanket and a new candle to help make it a little bit better, like cozier vibes, make it more comfortable for them to be stuck in their house. They have a lot of different blanket options here and a lot of different candle scents that all smell really, really good. They have like more festive blankets, they have blankets that would like match people's decor. I'll definitely go over the options with you, but that is a great gift. I love candles and blankets, so I would love to get that, and I feel like I'm really basic, and a lot of people are like me, so I think a lot of people would like to get that. So they have more cute, like, knitted blankets. Ones that are more like this. They have a lot of different, like, knitting pattern ones. Lots of different ones. They have, like, a chenille one. They have so many different options and colors as far as blanket goes. But I, I don't, I don't recommend ones like this. These do look really pretty, but these I just don't recommend. Let me show you what I do recommend. These, these are the ones, people. These Threshold Micro Plush Blankets, those are the ones. First of all, they're huge. Second of all, they're really soft. They come in a bunch of different colors. They even have some like patterns. They last forever and they're just way comfier, warmer, and nicer than the like ones that look fancy. Like I said, they do have more festive options. If you want to go that route, you could do like a peppermint candle and like a fun festive blanket. Whichever way you want to go with it, they have a lot of different options. These are really similar to the ones that I like. They're just a little bit smaller and these do have like the Sherpa on the inside. So that could be a better option. You can go either way personally I recommend those ones those ones are my favorite and they are 20% off right now but whichever way you want to go you really can't go wrong they have honestly just aisles on aisles of blankets so many different types so many different colors so many different sales I don't want to hear any excuses they're making it super easy too. the same aisle as the blankets is the candle okay to go along with like blankets candles and we're talking about cozy stuff 
Another great gift idea is like a pair of pajamas or a pair of sweatpants. Sweatpants and sweatsuits have really become the thing towards the end of 2020 because like I said, everyone is stuck in their house, so why not look cute doing it? Really easy gift idea. I've never met somebody who doesn't like pajamas or sweatpants and cute ones at that, so this is definitely another really, really good gift idea. This is just in one section of one of the different like sub brands that Target has of clothing. They have a lot more in the pajama section as well. So many different like materials, styles, patterns, all of that sort of stuff. This is a great gift idea. Okay, who remembers last week in my Target Tuesday video where I like raved about the Casa Luna brand from Target? It's like their like high-end bedding brand. And I'm like, it never goes on sale. It's 20% off this week. So I saw that it went 20% off like last night or the night before that. So I went on to the website and I was just gonna order it. I was gonna order the comforter. But then I started reading the reviews and everyone says that it like pills after you wash it twice, like really bad. Like a lot of people were complaining about it. And then there was a lot of people who were like, I wish I listened to the reviews. So back to square one. If you have a linen comforter that you love, like a white linen comforter, leave it down below for me. I need help now because while Target does have like a great return policy and I know I could bring it back if I had any problems, I just like don't really think I wanna like get into all that i really want to do the white linen with the like sage green for the sheets that's what i want to do but i don't want to get stuff that like has really bad reviews so if you have any recommendations definitely let me know down below but i just thought you'd want to know the irony of what i said last week i'm definitely eating crow it stinks too because this is like the most in stock Casa Luna section i've ever seen they literally have every single color full stock of each one this is the one I really wanna get, but like I'm just really scared that it's gonna pill on me like it did with everybody else. I will say I didn't read any bad reviews about this. It's like a super oversized hand knit bed blanket. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's honestly more for look than like to actually use. That'd be a really nice gift idea, but more for someone who likes like home decor because like I said, it's not as much for function as it is for decor. Another great last minute gift idea, an air fryer. You guys know how much I love mine. I rave about it all the time. They have a lot of different sales on them, so this is like one of those things I would definitely utilize price match for. This looks like a pretty cool one. It has a lot of different preset functions. It's five quarts. I would recommend at least five quarts for anyone who's gonna buy an air fryer, but honestly, the bigger, the better. My air fryer is seven quarts, and honestly, half the time, I feel like it's too small for even just me and Brian. So definitely at least five quarts, seven quarts would be even better than that. Another great little gift for someone who is on the go, a reusable water bottle or reusable coffee mug. These are super handy to have for someone on the go who likes to make their coffee at home or maybe take it with them. These are perfect. It is always nice to get a new one. They're having a bunch of sales on these right now. They have like thermos brand ones, Contigo, so whichever is your preference. Lots of different designs and colors, something for everybody. A great gift for someone on the go. Another fun, cute gift idea would be like a little movie set. So you could do like a gift card to the movies. I know a lot of people aren't really going to the movies right now, but you could do like a Google gift card or that sort of thing where they can like buy a movie, an Amazon gift card, Google Play Store, one of those. You could do a little popcorn machine and then a thing of popcorn kernels. So to go along with that like movie idea that I was telling you about, they do have a lot of different like popcorn making options. They have ones I've never seen before. It looks like you stick this whole thing in the microwave with the kernels in it and then it just pops it in there and they have a little bowl version as well. Then they have the more like traditional ones where it, like you put it in and it comes out of the top and goes into a bowl. This one looks cool too. I think it like pops it in that bowl. I feel like that would be pretty messy, but they do have a lot of different options at all different prices and there's really good sales going on right now too. I think this would be a really cute idea especially if you go all out and get like the little like powders that you can put on it or different like flavors and stuff like that that just makes it way more fun and like customizable and more of like an activity so that's definitely a good recommendation a really good gift idea and it keeps people at home which is perfect for 2020. Another fun gift idea and something I have gotten for many a presents is a nice blender. If you have someone in your life that like loves smoothies, loves to like be healthy, drink stuff like that, a nice blender is always such a great gift to have. I've had a lot of these different blenders. The ninjas are really great. Personally, I have a Vitamix, but a blender is a really great gift. It's funny because the progression of this blenders is kind of like the blenders I went through. So I started off with a Nutribullet. I feel like everyone in the world had a Nutribullet in the early 2000s. Then I got a Nutra Ninja, which I really liked for a long time because it's like a personal blender and it's perfect to take them, super easy to make and go. Then I had one of these big ninjas for a while. And then I finally broke my mom down so far going through so many blenders because I used to drink so many smoothies. I finally convinced her that I needed a Vitamix. A Vitamix is like 
the Porsche of blenders. I don't even know, like a really nice car, like the BMW of blenders. I absolutely love my Vitamix. Mine has a like normal blender top, but it also comes with the personal cup, so that's the one that I got. It's not like the big industrial one. It's not one that you can like make soups in. I definitely do want to get one of those. But mine is one that works better for me and my lifestyle. It's like literally specifically for making smoothies and I love it. So if you have someone in your life that loves to make smoothies, a lot of these I would recommend. The Nutri Ninja, like the personal one with the cup, is really awesome. But if you want to spend a little bit, but if you're looking to spend a little bit more money and spoil someone who maybe has gone through a couple blenders, loves smoothies, smoothie bowls, that sort of thing, a Vitamix is a big investment, but they do have an awesome like five year manufacturer's warranty and stuff. So that's the one. I would recommend, but if you want to save a little bit of money, the Nutri Ninja is also amazing. So Brian actually gave this gift idea in our most recent Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls gift ideas for the whole family. A wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, that sort of thing. Great for anyone that works at home or even goes to the office. Having everything be wireless makes it super easy to like pack up and go to like a coffee shop or something if you need a change of scenery. I don't know much about this stuff, but they do have some sales going on. They also have like headsets and stuff. All of this stuff is perfect for anyone that has like an office type job and this is a recommendation from Brian so I wanted to make sure I showed you that they do have this stuff at Target as well another great gift idea for someone who loves to travel and probably didn't get too much in 2020 is a new piece of luggage why not start off a new year with a new piece of luggage if you know someone that loves to travel this is such a good gift this is a luggage scale it's super practical honestly Brian and I need one of these so bad you hook it onto the thing and when you lift it up it tells you how much it weighs that way you don't get to the airport and have to scramble to move everything around like Brian and I always do but honestly just a lot of like travel accessories would be cool they have a lot of different suitcase options they don't have the one that I have I have this suitcase but in pink it's really cute I like it a lot it's hard shell it's really really nice so maybe a new piece of luggage if you have a travel lover in your life you could go with that gift idea they don't sell the brand here but the away luggage is really nice that's what Brian has it has like the portable chargers in it it's super super nice but they don't sell that brand here the pink suitcase that I got from here looks like it but it doesn't have the portable charger so that's a good gift recommendation as well. I'm not sure though if they would be able to get it to you in time. So if you want something for more last minute, I would definitely come here and check out what they have. Another fun gift idea that's literally perfect for the whole family are board games. Target's having a lot of sales on board games right now. Trivial Pursuit is one of my favorites. It is a little bit more difficult, but they do sell like kid versions. Heads Up is also really fun. Another one of my favorites on great sale, Mexican Train Dominoes. I love this game. We played this so much at the beginning of quarantine, but Brian doesn't really like this game his loss another game I grew up playing was Yahtzee such a classic in my house I still play that every single time I go home apples to apples is really fun it's almost like the kid version of cards against humanity speaking of cards against humanity they have a big selection here they have all the expansion packs too so if you know someone who has it you could get them some of the expansion packs these are perfect little like stocking stuffers or get a couple for a gift they have different like nerd bundles 90 nostalgia pack the dad pack like so many different ones they have the absurd third box honestly this game is so funny another game I absolutely love is ticket to ride my friends introduced me to this game and it's really really fun it's where you like build a train from like location to location on the map on the inside and this is the Europe version they have a lot of different like game and activity ideas for the whole family which are perfect because everyone is going to be stuck inside this winter whether it be because of weather or everything going on in the world it's definitely a good time to stock up on like board games activities anything to keep you sane over the next few months when the weather's not great and the world World is just crazy some activities that would be fun are these magnet tiles those look fun they also have a bunch of kinetic sand a lot of different kinetic sand sets these are fun I feel like you have to like contain kinetic sand into like one big plastic bucket though or else it just gets everywhere they have Nickelodeon slime sets fun fact this toy was banned from my household growing up because my brother used to put it in my hair I'm sure they probably fixed it where now you can get it out of hair and it's probably non-toxic but yeah this was not allowed in the vining household growing up and then really classic play-doh a lot of different sets different like kits they have like bakery ones things you can press it through all different play-doh sets different colors perfect activity honestly fun for the whole family oh my god into the unknown pull the pull the reins oh <gasps> Oh my god, shut up. This is so cool. Conveniently in the middle of the Wonder Shop. So Wonder Shop and then more Wonder Shop. In the middle, they have a bunch of like toy ideas. Easy, present, last minute gift ideas. I think these are just really popular kids gift ideas. Okay, that's fun. Tasty. I like to watch their videos on YouTube and apparently they make a kitchen for kids. If you just need to come in and grab something for someone super last minute, Target is just making that super, super easy for you.
Okay, another amazing last minute gift idea. It's kind of like threefold. So a robe, I really want a robe. I don't have one. I'm tempted to buy one for myself, but just in case someone got one for me for Christmas, I'm not going to just yet, but a robe, a pair of super fuzzy, comfy socks, and perfectly to go along with those two things would be a face mask. They have lots of different face mask options at Target. They also have like eye masks, foot masks, hand masks, all that sort of stuff. So if you are stuck in the house, a face mask, a robe, and a nice pair of socks would be a great gift for someone. Super easy, last minute, easy to put together, a great gift idea. A last minute gift idea, great for a dad, a brother, who doesn't love a robe? Like I keep mentioning, we're gonna be stuck in the house for a while, especially with the cold weather in a lot of parts of the country, and a robe is just perfect. Another super easy, casual idea would be maybe like a trip to Mexico in a new bathing suit. You know. Easy, casual. They do have lots of little displays set up all over the store, like gift card ones, clothing apparel and candy stocking stuffers, all different things set up to make it really easy for you to just run in and grab last minute gift ideas. I feel like also it goes without saying that gift cards make great gifts. All right, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys found it helpful and found some last minute gift ideas. I can't do a haul only because Brian really does watch all my videos and I don't want him to see any of the stuff that I picked up in this video, but maybe I picked up some of the stuff I showed in this video. I don't know if you guys found this video helpful definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button down below I'll be back on Christmas Eve with a new video. See you then. Bye guys